holy crap, it is a great time to be a Flash fan right now. My throat hurts from screaming at that Flash trailer. <laughs> so my voice is like still a little scratchy as you can tell. Which is why I was drinking water in the beginning. Like I said, it is a great time to be a Flash fan right now. Because season 9, the, the final season of the Flash show, just premiered. And that was a good episode. I'm not gonna lie, I really liked it. But yeah, today, like maybe like an hour or two ago, the Flash trailer dropped. As your superhero fanboy and fellow Flash Minion in Justice 1 and 2, who I've been meaning since 2014, mind you, uh, I'm gonna dissect the Flash trailer. Let's do it. Now, before I do this, I just want everyone to please subscribe, like the video, share it, do whatever you must with this video. Yeah, no, let's just dissect now. I don't know what else to say, let's dissect. Now, this might just be me, but the framing of this shot, it's very weird how it first shows the shadow of the person doesn't show who it is which ultimately gives me a suspicion of like evil speedster like reverse flash but then later on we see the flash Tell me something. with or what we suppose is the flash someone with red boots walking into the scene after a lightning flash right so we can only assume it's the flash because the very next shot is the flash berry yeah He's just like chilling, looking at his childhood home, which I'm guessing this is gonna be a flashpoint story. He time travels, so that happens. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Okay, so like, who was talking there? I want to say that was Ben Affleck's Batman, but it could have been Michael Keaton's Batman. You know. Or if the voices don't match to anyone, that could just be Reverse Flash. I just want Reverse Flash because we can't have a movie, we can't have a Flash movie without Reverse Flash, am I right? Is it just me or or do y'all see that that lady or that person just chilling over there in the background? Like she's obviously on the roof talking to someone. I'm not sure who because we can't see them. It's only the lady in like the shadow of someone. So it could be spoilers. I honestly don't know. On second thought, that just looks like Barry and not a random woman. <laughs> My bad. Another timeline. Okay, that's really creepy. Who is opening that door and why could we not see them or their shadow? Like, is that not giving you like ragdoll vibes? It's not Another universe. Okay, so this shot alone confirms two things one star labs does not exist in the dc universe right also that looks like a batman mask you know what that really looks like that looks like the the nightmare batman mask you know how like batman's in that desert area in batman v superman and like he's wearing that that really cool suit and he uses the guns against the people that's not a bad thing to do but like he does it in that scene in that movie <clears throat> because of what Zack Snyder does. I like Zack Snyder's vision, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but that looks like the Nightmare Batman mask, which could be a cool callback because they never really touched on it other than they touched on that in Zack Snyder's Justice League. And then, like, just that was only a two time thing. Like, what was the point of that? What? Okay, this might be a stretch, but like, is it just me? Or does that look like Christian Bale's Gotham City? Am I am I stretching here? Am I Am I reaching? Like Am I? Like like wait. Hold on. I don't remember if <laughs> if Ben Affleck's Batman ever had a a bat bike, because he usually rides the Batmobile. And the only Batman, the only live-action Batman I know who rides a bat bike is Christian Bale. To my knowledge, at least. 
Because, like, I haven't watched those movies in a while, and only Christian Bale rides the Bat Bike and sometimes the Batmobile. And plus, that just looks like Christian Bale's Gotham. So I really hope we can get the trinity of Batman, you know? We could get Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, and Christian Bale all in one movie featuring Supergirl and The Flash and Zod and his companion, lover, I don't know, the other person with Zod, Man of Steel, the lady, um... Yo, this movie sounds kind of stacked. I'm not going to lie. So why do you want to stay? With this shot alone, there are so many questions. First off, how is the one guy on, on the right, I think it is, wearing like the green, how is he, how is he not affected by the lightning from Flash running at that speed? Because you don't know how fast he was going, but he was like slowing down. Like he was, he was doing that like slide. Yeah, yeah, slide, slide glide. I, I don't know, my brain's not working right now. <laughs> what? They're, they're obviously running for something. Flash is running towards the person. And I'm going to guess that Flash is running towards Zod's ship from Mad of Steel. I'm guessing that's what's happening, because I don't really know what. Or, 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 or. We could be having a moment where we see Supergirl coming from the sky, much like Clark did in Man of Steel. But the people, they think that Supergirl is an alien or something, which she is, but they don't know. Because in this universe, it would be Supergirl and not Clark Kent or Superman. Because same person, yeah, yada, yada, yada. I fight to save this one. What's really cool is this switch that looks like the exact same like tone and color palette of Barry's man cave, which he like operates from, which is like his star labs, I guess, because he has a suit there and he has the lever, which flicks on everything, which we saw in ju the Justice League movies. Either that's a surprise Batmobile, or the Flash just lit a bomb? What? I just know you people with fee fetishes who are watching, I know you all are like, Oh my god. <gasps> like all breathing heavy and shit. Like, <laughs> Bro, there are very clearly two Flashes running in the Speed Force. Also, is this the new Speed Force? Because it does not look the same. Also, why does Barry have yellow lightning in this movie compared to his other iterations where he has blue lightning? I don't get why. Maybe he got like a speed boost? Use some V9 or something? I don't know. Oh, why? That, that really bothers me. Why does he have a different lightning color? I have questions. This is the world where my mom lives. Okay, why does he need his mom? Um, his dad should be still in jail. Why does he need his mom exactly? I guess he misses her? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. I'm not gonna lose her again. Okay, but how did he know about the other universes and how his mom is alive in this universe? This new universe that he found, how does he know? Time has a pattern. Flash point of views in any form of media are always badass and I will I will die on the hill. That it can't help reliving. Okay, this scene is big because that's his childhood. I think that's the day that his mom dies and he wants to prevent it from happening. So, I guess with the time changing, that could be like all the different Earths and how they all happen at different times, but they all happen on the same day. It, it's like a uh, a paradox. Not a paradox, but... what What is it called when like... It's a fixed point in time. 
meaning it's supposed to happen and it can't be undone or else it will destroy the universe because the Flash can't be created if his mom doesn't die. It's a fixed point in time. That, uh. Different people, different worlds. Now this might just be a lighting thing, but what the hell is up with his fingers? Did he get poisoned? Drawn to each other like... Now these are all like pictures of Barry going through his childhood. But the one thing that I did notice among all these pictures is that they're all labeled on a pin board. And this is big because the Flash in the show and comics... He's a forensic scientist, so he works with the police, and he, like, does that with cases where he has, like, them on pin boards or whatever. So he, he does that. He has that. Magnets. My face. So my face. Just when I thought we were done with the Flash and the CW show bringing that timeline, now we have the movie Flash... Doing it. <sighs> Thought we were over this DC gosh. If you were to go into the past. Yeah, that is definitely Wayne Manor from the 89 Batman films with Michael Keaton. I am hyped. You have no idea what the consequences can be. Does this explain how the Flash gets his powers? in the DC universe without Star Labs existing? Because he usually, he gets his powers through his job, but he didn't have that yet. Is this how he gets his powers? Does a Flash from a different time, time travel to the past to give himself powers? What? Bruce. Oh my God, he has the Flash rewards. <laughs> Let's go. I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. I'm pretty sure this is the last movie we're going to see Ben Affleck with his Batman. So like, this, this better be a good fucking performance. Okay, wait, but who's that guy in the chair who's broadcasting all the Zod shit? Upon zooming in just now, there are so many people there. Why, why did they all just decide to have a party in Barry's man cave? Who invited- whose mans are these, bro? What? This can't be happening. I completely broke the universe. Sorry. We've been waiting for you. He's been waiting for the Flash even though he's a Superman villain? What? You know, on second thought, Supergirl is in this movie and he's probably been waiting for Supergirl to make her grand entrance into Earth so he could follow and like Oh my god, Superhero can then prove herself. Ah, and then she gets the Superman name or something. The mantle, I don't, I don't know. I created a world with no metahumans. Um, how? All you did was run? What? Okay, it might just be the lighting, but whose green gloves are these? Because I know damn well Batman doesn't have no green gloves unless it's, like, kryptonite gloves. But even then, like, that shit's obvious, even for Superman, you know? This is technically the first frame we get of Supergirl. That is sick. I love it. I mean, I don't like her looking all down and broken or whatever, but... First look at Supergirl. That's a W. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Oh. You're... You are... Yeah. I'm Batman. I audibly screamed and creamed and <laughs> you think I'm joking
okay, the, 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 the 89 theme with the mm, goosebumps, holy shit. That berry who just fell, that, that was literally me. He, the, 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 he, he, he did the thing with, with the, with the, with, with the Batmobile tur 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 turning in into the, 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 the bat what? <laughs> my, my mind is blown, I can't speak. If I can't. Now this doesn't show us a person or how or why the ground is exploding, it's just. It's just like, oh my god, let's make a tremor out of nowhere. Whoa. So it's doing that. It doesn't show us. I'm, I'm assuming it's because, like, Super Supergirl jumped into the air, or like Zod did. But it did, like, a ground pound into, like, a leap. And then ju that just, like, cracked the floor <laughs> or something. I, I don't know. And then do what I did. Yo, I think this is the first look at wall running in the DC universe. That is sick. If I can't get back. Yo, I completely forgot that they. I thought they left out Kiersey Clemens as Iris West, but hey, I guess she's in this movie. That's awesome. Thumbs up. We finally get an Iris West. Let's go. Wait, hold on, did, did they just time travel there? I swear they time traveled there. If I put it into slow motion, it looks like they, they start the scene in their running pose. Like from afar, it looks like they're running backwards until they meet. And then they go forward, leading into that outward wide shot. That that is weird. That that's like what XS does on the Flash. That's that's cool. There might not be a future. Let me find out. Barry has an electricity kink. Yo. Does this mean that Kara or Supergirl? Does this mean that she has access to the Speed Force too, or is she just that fast, or it's in like slow motion like the Flash, but not exactly the Speed Force? Because Speed Force makes him faster, but the Supergirl, she's just as fast as a speeding bullet. Like Superman. I, I don't know. He knows how to make tornado hands. It's only so long until he figures out how to fly, bro. This is going to be awesome if he learns how to fly. He can then race with Supergirl. Like, do you know how epic that would be? Your eyes do not deceive you. He is wearing the blue and gray in live action. Ben Affleck is wearing blue and gray. Oh my god. Is Barry dropkicking Zod? What the shit? What? Is What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Look how Chad Batman has given the signal to Supergirl to, to kick some ass. When I first watched that scene, I thought that was Wonder Woman at first. I'm not gonna lie. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I, I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna wanna see this. So I basically just gave my thoughts about everything that I think is happening. This trailer was packed with everything and I love it so much. I can't wait for this movie. You don't even know how much I want it. Like right this instant. I needed it like last year, bro. I needed it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Twitter has also been kind of vocal about this trailer, saying that, like, the CGI is trash or, like, not good. 
But then again, then I realized that it's it's Twitter. And like they don't have opinions because they're they use Twitter. But by using that logic, that means I don't have opinions either. So like But as a YouTuber, does that does that count? Does that give me an opinion? Or like 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 how does that work? Like like let's be honest, bro. What? 